Good morning everyone. This is a lecture on the introduction to cultural studies. This topic is covered in two parts. Part 1 explains to you what cultural studies is and talks about popular culture and power culture. So let us now see what is cultural studies. Cultural studies is a new discipline. It is a discipline between disciplines cultural studies is an innovative interdisciplinary field of research and teaching that investigates the ways in which culture creates and transforms individual experiences everyday life social relations and power cultural studies is interested in the processes by which power relation between and within groups of human beings organize cultural artifacts like food habits music cinema and their meanings it is an academic field that analyzes contemporary cultures in order to derive meaning from them it politically and critically discusses and observes some of cultures exclusions injustices and prejudices the aim of cultural studies is to examine cultural practices and their relation to power cultural studies deals with culture as a part of everyday life because of that it is an evolving field that changes and develops with culture itself cultural studies views cultures not as fixed bounded stable and discrete entities but rather as constantly interacting and changing sets of practices and processes when we look at the term culture culture is derived from the term cultura or culeia which means to cultivate it also means to honor and protect however in the 19th century in europe it meant the habits customs and taste of the upper class or the elite classes only the culture of the elite class or high culture was considered standard now as we have seen that culture is a mode of generating meanings and ideas meanings are controlled and governed by power relations elite culture controls the meaning hence certain meanings certain culture obtains validity non elite views on life and art are rejected as tasteless useless or even stupid certain components of culture gets more visibility let us now see what popular culture is popular culture is the culture of the masses like graffiti comic books popular music open spaces of city sports and these popular culture are always pitted against elite culture like how graffiti is in opposition with the classical arts of michelangelo or picasso how popular music are opposed to the classical music how the open spaces of cities are opposed to art galleries how the popular sports like football are opposed to the elite sport like golf so this it is a culture of everyday life of a large number of people but this culture of everyday life of the large number of people are dismissed as inferior by the elite class the term mass culture was used derogatively true culture or standard was the culture of the elite that is the culture of the wealthy and a minority section of population in academic studies the studies that we have in the classrooms today would look at great works of art or classical authors ignoring the fact that a great number of people 
never view these art forms or read these classical authors standards of judgment and ideas of taste were framed using elite forms as example for instance paintings of emma fuzain films of satya tri writings of rabindranath tagore or william shakespeare acquired an aura of respectability as culture while most critics don't discuss street arts sydney sheldon or films of karan johar as art relegating them to the realm of popular culture in 1950s and 1960s a change in focus came about in cultural analysis popular culture became part of academic studies by 1969 when the journal of popular culture was launched by bowling green university usa the journal carried essays on spider-man comics rock music detective films and other forms of popular culture cultural studies argues that culture is about meaning meanings that a community or society generates and these meanings are always controlled by those in power certain forms of art and their meanings are treated as inferior while some other forms of art are treated as superior like you can see how shakespeare reading shakespeare becomes cultured while reading agatha christie or mills and boons is not cultural studies argued that the objects and artifacts used by the masses must be taken seriously popular culture like a dictative novel or a comic strip like how raymond williams a very well known popular cultural theorist pointed out as a set of beliefs values and practices that are widely shared and now we'll see how this culture is produced or consumed cultural study seeks to understand how objects acquire meaning and value in a society or community culture of community includes various aspects like the economic spatial ideological erotic and political culture is not natural it is produced cultural studies is interested in the production and consumption of culture the cultural production is interested in the values we attribute to a particular thing therefore they are not mere products but images of representation the cultural production of these signs or images exist before the actual production of the product for example even before you buy a health drink you manufacture the ideas of health nutrients growth etc so you consume not the product but the values associated with the product production and conception of culture is linked to the matters of class that is who decides what is produced the matters of economy that is who can afford it and matters of representation that is how is it marketed or presented for example an advertisement of a motorbike was represented earlier as a family vehicle that is you could take your kids for a ride or your wife to the office or your grandparents to some other offices etc but later as in recent times we can see the advertisements how bike is equated with youth culture it's a symbol of youth culture where different advertisements becomes or shows the vigor and power of different bikes so these three ideas matters of class matters of economy and matters of representation these three ideas together makes production and consumption of culture 
which again is linked to power and identity the production and consumption of artifacts depends on the ability to do so and the ways in which these artifacts are marketed and sold so culture is a product that is made marketed and consumed for example in the advertisements of mobile phones we can always understand how the identity of the consumer is marketed by the brands the identity is made by the brand is created an executive of an elite class is almost always shown with an iphone so that is something that you cannot live with an apple iphone so you can see how these identities are created and now we'll talk about power culture so what is power culture now culture studies to understand power culture tries to address some questions like why is agatha christie not studied in english departments when most people read christie rather than thomas hardy how does walking through the city streets become significant as a practice or what are the economic and political implications of creating special outlets and exhibitions of tribal culture for elite people to purchase them in metropolises each of the questions suggest a connection between culture and power culture reinstates the value of a particular class of people for instance who decides that thomas hardy or william shakespeare must be read but not a gada christie we should remember that shakespeare in his age was a very popular writer maybe someone like chetan bhagat of today so we can see how a popular culture or a mass culture of yesterday became the elite culture of today in the similar way who decides the spaces for the pedestrians and automobiles who gains economic profits from swell, from selling tribal artifacts the decision about culture and social practices are not simply cultural questions they involve politics and questions of power since each artifact or practice acquires legitimacy and value because somebody has decided they are legitimate and valued cultural issues and themes are mediated through questions of economy and politics that is profit and power that explains why kathakali is always part of the tradition and culture of kerala the elite culture of kerala but mostly folk arts are only treated as secondary so culture is therefore about power any cultural privilege is about power so now we have seen what cultural studies is what popular culture is and how culture is deeply rooted in power and how this power creates an identity of the consumers so that brings us to the end of this lecture we shall look at the origin of cultural studies and some prominent cultural theorists in the next lecture thank you for your attention